trying to hang on to winter across southeast Louisiana, although temperatures quickly rebounded during the day today. Saw 30s on both sides of the lake, but most official locations in southeast Louisiana did not reach freezing, though close in Bogalusa, just below freezing in Macomb this morning. But as I said, as we got into more sunshine, those temperatures quickly rebounded. 70 degrees are high today, a few degrees above average, and really looking forward into next week. High temperatures will stay in the 70s, even this weekend behind a cold front pushing on through under clear skies at the moment. We'll say under mostly clear skies this evening and tonight. However, humidity is a little bit higher, so that one will prevent us from getting as cold and two will likely start to see the development of what we call radiation fog, where the temperatures get close enough to the dew points and seemingly fog develops out of nowhere. And that is what we're likely going to see overnight tonight and into early tomorrow. Maybe more patchy, but I do think it'll be fairly decent in terms of its um, uh, lowing of the visibilities overnight tonight. Humidity is starting to set up with clear skies and those light winds still in place. The temperatures will quickly get to those dew points, which have been steadily on the rise. Not a muggy air mass, but a more damp feel to the air, especially later on tonight. Winds light out of the west southwest at seven miles an hour. Upper 60s and low 70s on the map at the moment and dew points certainly higher than they were yesterday. Yesterday dew points 20s and 30s today 40s and 50s. We're not going to see them increase dramatically over the coming days, but overall we're starting to see more of an onshore wind, which steadily increases the moisture and allows for a more damp feel, prevents the temperature from getting as cold in the morning and also likely start to see some fog over the next couple of nights and morning. We're also going to see what will help us out with a warming trend is this an upper ridge. Now that upper ridge has really sent temperatures into the upper 70s and 80s underneath it in Texas and elsewhere across the high plains. That is probably not not going to be the case here because what's going to happen is that the upper ridge is going to kind of flatten out as it moves our way. So yeah, it will help to warm things up, but not upper 70s and 80s. I think more mid 70s about as warm as we'll get going into Thursday. Then by Friday, we're going to get an upper trough that sweeps on through, bringing with it some cooler air for the mornings. But during the day, I think high temperatures still in the 70s. Core of the cold is staying well to our north, kind of bottled up into eastern Canada, and that does spell a big temperature drop for areas, say the Ohio Valley and Northeast, but not this far south. Now, as we headed through the weekend again, very pleasant, but temperatures in the 70s and then here comes maybe a stronger upper ridge for early next week, and that would maybe help our temperatures get to near 80 degrees. So 80s certainly in the forecast before we wrap up February, but may not be until next week. Then maybe a surge of some cooler air and we'll see how far south it's able to get. We'll get probably a glancing blow of some cooler temperatures by the middle to end end of next week. So wrapping up February, heading into March again, the core of that cold does look to stay more to our north. So our temperatures kind of continue with an up and down, not dramatically. So for the weekend, more than anything by Friday and in particular Saturday and Sunday, it will get less humid, really making for a very pleasant feel. We really have been cloud free across much of the region. Different story out west where that uh, atmospheric river has been pummeling the areas along the west coast and Pacific Northwest and even farther inland with ample moisture and then setting up for that with the cold air heavy snowfall across the mountain west. Eventually that pattern is going to set up a cold front. This is the front that will move our way. Now the main energy with this front is staying well to our north. So really all we're going to see from it is a bit of a drop in humidity. Maybe a few showers are able to kind of fire up out ahead of the front. But once the front moves on through late Thursday, early Friday, all it's going to do is help to lower the humidity, which actually make for a very pleasant weekend. So seven day forecast again, high temperatures are into the 70s. And that's here to stay 72 are high tomorrow, mid 70s by Thursday. The drier air moves in for Friday, stays with us for the weekend, and we may be nearing 80 degrees toward next week.